And here we have the start of an absolute crazy time. There's a little bit of nudity. <laughs> okay, you've been warned. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. <laughs> well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out. I just, I love the look on Henry's face at, at the door here. It's great. Uh, uh, you looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Stop picking on God. Quickly. Take that. Thou shalt not hurt thy. So, my dear, wouldn't you like to have a little ring on the bell? No sooner said than done. I'd love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What do people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dear. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> this is wonderful. Ah, oh, bloody hell. What a guy. And now, my dears, comes the climax. Of the evening.
<laughs> Godwin, you old goat. <laughs> Come here. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? Relax, peeps. It's pixelated boobs. Relax. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <coughs> Henry smug face, love it. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christy oh, in my head. Mm, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Wait, before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose a Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're stark raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this. I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Are you guys getting it now? Well, this game is just so great. That cracks me up every time. I love it. We'll never get away with it. Not if you make a hash of it. <sighs> well, all right. I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. But what do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. 
No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it then. When I said they burnt him at the stake, they did. Uh, yeah, that, that actually happened. I may need to put some pants on. Start mass. It's already late. show up. It's a swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'd throw up. Animals, I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine patres. Et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles a manus suas. <clears throat> Hac facite in meam commemorationem. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So Henry, you may begin. Brothers and sisters, let me go straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. Boy, is a cheek. One should not believe in the church because the church is not God. God is above all things and the church is but a means to salvation, which the prelates do not care to hear. He's right. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, enemies, injustice, hunger and chaos, failed harvests, fires, floods and other catastrophes. And it is all due to um, <clears throat> the corrupt servants of God who do not practice what they preach. 
They think sins can be washed away by money. And they sell indulgences. And, and that, that's bad. Because sins cannot be redeemed with silver. Prague didn't do much for his confidence. And what sins? If someone takes a woman or a man only to satisfy their own lust, who's, who can turn his... Nothing we don't know about already. Enough about... What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice. Look to your consciences, you... Down with the prelates. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. God sees what is happening on earth. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock. Aye, all honour to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard. The lad spoke well. Considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much. But the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he tongue. Came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague. But he told it nicely. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. His conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, he talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko, Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. <sighs> and anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. <laughs> I don't doubt it. And that, my friends, is the Father Godwin quest. Legendary Coxman. <laughs>